what's up dudes and dudettes this is Noel on PC and today our mission is we're gonna launch this badass and it's got a replacement Soyuz capsule that's going up to the ISS we had to borrow one in one of the twitch live streams borrow uh, and it's now abandoned so we are going to basically replace the one we took and at some point we're gonna deorbit the one we took and put it down nice and safely it was kind of a whole weird Sandra Bullock gravity situation it got kind of out of, out of hand so ISS is actually coming around really nice let's get up that's what she said let's crash this one we've got a pretty heavy payload back there so I'm trying to keep the nose up a bit I'm trying not to let it fall down to the prograde marker. I'm trying to stretch this prograde out just a little farther as we pick up more and more speed. This is basically the only way to fly this craft. If you comment with, why don't you just put it on the general stability assist? It's just because it wobbles all over the place. So, so don't. Don't make that comment. Don't. Alright, this is nice. Going fast. Nice 45 degree angle, roughly. What's that? 50... 54 degree angle, roughly. This is a good exit trajectory. We're about to lose our first stage. Later, dudes. At 15,000 meters. That's a pretty good height to lose the first stage. We're just going to coast. We're going to coast out for the most part. Just trying to bend it back to 90. There we go. That's a little better. A wee bit better. She's looking good. She's looking good. We're still just a hair to the 80s, or sorry, 90s. We want to be just a little more straight. Is that? That's pretty good, I think. That's as good as it's going to get, anyways. So we're just going to roll with this. Let's see how we're doing there. Things are happening. Things are happening. All right, we're on our last 40%, 30% roughly of fuel as we come up to 100 or so. There we go. And we're just going to make an orbit. And then we're going to fix the orbit. And by then we should be able to get a really good close rendezvous. Beautiful. All right. We're going to burn like crazy. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. And we're going to fix the orbit. I'm just making a nice line. Everything else is at a really nice level because I do this every time. So you can see this blue line is kind of cockeyed. So right about here somewhere is the middle. Right about there is going to be good enough anyways. Just gonna do this, and then we're just gonna bring it. I always go the wrong way. It's 
pretty level, I think. Good enough. Okay, so we're going to boogie around to that point. I realize that obviously I should have made it on the other side. The thing is, I don't like to work on the other side because it's dark. Fuck the dark. Makes everything low def and grayscale. Fuck the dark. Still a really good separation between us and our target, 170 kilometers or so. We only have to burn for like, it says a second. actually went too far if you saw that bounce but it's good enough it's good enough for a rendezvous if I take this off if you'd stop fucking spinning thank you yeah it looks it, that looks level enough yeah that's good enough more than more than good enough okay so now the tricky part this looks like a good intersection point right about there but so does that what's gonna come around to daytime all right, we're going to do this. Here's what we're going to do. We're catching up to that Soyuz that we took the other day. Boogie around a prograde and burn a bit. We're going to push the orbit out on the other side, make it a little bigger. So that the craft will slow down a little bit. We want it to slow down just a hair as it comes back around this way every time. Things are... <clears throat> Things are looking good. Separation is good, 143. It started at 170-ish, so we're coming down. Now we're going to accelerate away from it. Well, not accelerate away from it, but we're accelerating. We're chipping away at the difference between our speeds. Got down to 80 there. So here as we start climbing and we start slowing it down again, we want to get really close. And then from there, our speeds should be close close to relative, and all we have to do is just change them so that they are. Things are snapping. Kilometers. Sorry, 13. Just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> okay, so we're on the downs. Oh, so yeah, we're accelerating, so we're just gonna keep getting closer. That's that's good. These are all good things. Closing in on like a relative speed. Okay, we're taking control from here. Whew. Where is target? Where are you? Is that you right there? 5.5 is definitely you. I'm so sorry about being in the dark. It looks like we're going to come around. We're going to get a sunset in just a mo. I'm going to try and let us watch some of that sunset. All right, 27 meters a second. We are basically relative. We're going to have to burn way over here, I think. Got to bend that like Beckham. Bend it good. Beautiful. B-E-A... 
beautiful. All right, now it's just coasting in. We've got this huge reserve of fuel left, like 1,500 units. It's kosher. Come on, sunset. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. It's one of the reasons why I always like turn windows on and stuff, just so there's like something. I know when I'm on mobile trying to watch stuff like this, it's just brutal. It's so black. I'm so sorry. But just hang in there. Something's happening. That was um, almost catastrophic, I think. Game, please. Game, please. Are we back? Okay. That got, I'm not going to lie, that got hairy. I'm making butt diamonds. I'm clenching some butt diamonds. Yeah, the game, the game locked up when it loads the ISS in. Like, we're down to five frames a second now. It's the fucking apocalypse. But, actually, come to think of it, we're going to shut off the speed. because we don't really even have to be here. Only that Soyuz capsule has to get to the ISS. The rest of us can fucking split and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> 1 1.5, I could care. Gonna let this four frame a second rollover continue. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. If you're gonna comment anywhere, go to the squad site, write them an email. What's with thousand pieces or more getting such shitty frames? Signed, butthurt. Okay, thanks. Do we absolutely need a pilot in here? Or is there like a little brain in there somewhere? Come on. Can't zoom in anymore? Okay, I was going to try and look in that little ball. It looks like we're going to need a pilot. Okay, who's going? We're going to take... We're gonna take Commander Kelly. Oh wait, I think we have to get her back in. Because the hatch isn't on the top. My bad, we're gonna do a transfer crew. Or not. There we go. Transfer crew. Put her in there. There we go. This four frames a second, it's just murder. Okay, uh, we disconnect you. Very unsure of what that was, but whatever it was, it was probably just a tiny piece. And the rest was just fireworks, so to speak. Because I don't actually see anything. It's got all three of its engines. It's got all its uh, major components. Oh, it was the antenna right here. Uh, it was an antenna. It was one of those tiny, tiny, tiny little antennas on the edge of this wheel. That wheel is supposed to be like a little docking port thing. I don't know. If you saw a picture of the Soyuz, you'd be like, oh, I get it. It's that little piece right there. Okay, so we're just going to fly this thing over there. Over, over there. We're going to dock it, and then we're just going to fly her back, because it's only 1.4 kilometers. It won't take long. CS. You always want to do this when you're going to start a, a process like we're doing here. Just quickly be like, all right, that's 
Oh, that's not... Nope, that's not right. See what I mean? You want to orientate yourself? Okay, so... Hop. Forward. Left, right. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, good enough. Good enough. We're going away from it at 2.3. Just do that. <laughs> Use a tiny bit of fuel rather than wait for fucking ever. Just going to use the RCS to bend our little trajectory down right at the ISS. And then we're just going to turn our ass into the wind and break when we need to. That's how we're going to do this. The dock should be easy peasy. This thing has a pretty good like thrust to weight ratio with its RCS. So easy peasy. All right, there we go. We're going to turn that off. We're going to go to... We're going to go to... We're going to go to... Thank you, game. I have a feeling like it's probably going to overshoot, so I'm just going to do... Nope. Really? Wow. Nicely done, game. Nicely... That can't be right, right? We're not going... We're certainly not going that way. Right? Oh, it lost its target. Okay, easy enough. There we go. I'm so confused. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> Let's start with this. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I want anti-target. Yeah, easy peasy. All right, whatever. Whatever you, you do, you, bro. You do you, bro. It's all good. It's all good. Like, whatever you have to do to sleep at night, you just... You treat yourself. Treat yourself 2011. Oh, see, that's what I expected. Just sheer chaos. Craft. God damn it, craft. Respect my Thor You're right there. Right there. Just go there. It's like it's trying so hard to go this way. I want you to go that way. Wow. Okay, I'm just going to let you spin. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Oh, did that recalibrate it? You fucking asshole. Fucking four frames a second. Come on. You're killing me here, game. You're killing me, game. Oh, is that why? We're okay, so we're hemorrhaging electricity because we can't really get a lot of the solar panel into the sun. So if we just do like this and this, we should get some control back. But it's okay, we got lots of time. This is why we do these things slow. This is literally exactly why we do these things slow, because I've been I've been tricked by this game enough to, <laughs> to fucking know better. I'm not gonna let you get me, game. Alright, yeah, now we're definitely making more power than we can use. Just accelerating a bit towards our target because for some reason it's been like decelerating the whole time because our little RCS movements trying to spin around means thrusting in sort of random directions. So it does affect your orbit when you're using, you know, a bit of left and a bit of right. Like I'm doing right now, trying to bend our orbit back, our orbit, our trajectory back towards the ISS. There we go. All right, let's do a little fast forward. We are inevitably going to go sort of outside of it. That's good. I don't want to come up right on it. Because you never know, you might accidentally hit something. We want to be on the back side. So again, I'm okay with going by it. Oh. 
kind of a shitty sun situation here. I should have I should have flown to the other side so we could get the good view of both of them. But at least we get a nice shot of the ISS with the moon in the background, silhouetted by the moon. Six meters. Let's quickly orientate ourselves again. That should be up. That is definitely not up. That looks like up. Good stuff. Left, right. Beauty. Beauty. Just going to go a little bit fast forward. Let's shed some speed. I really don't want to overshoot. I'm kind of like panicking a little bit. should have put the thrusters more towards the center of mass, but they're meant to fly as the Soyuz, not without this nose thing on the front. Again, if you saw a picture of these things docked, you'd be like, oh, okay, I get what you're trying to do there. And it was the only stock round thing I had. All right, point two. Let's see where this is going to take us. Do a little fast forward. She's good, she's clean. Oh, okay, that's weird. I did a little more fast forward and all of a sudden we started like curving in towards it. That's just, that's just weird. It's weird and I don't like it because I'm old and I'm disturbed by things that are different because I'm old. We're just gonna do one, two, two. Two's good. We're going we're gonna to do two. Don't bend it like Beckham. All right, where's our parking spot? Do we see... Do we see our parking spot in there somewhere? Hmm. Oh, I think that's it. Game? Please. 74 meters, right? I should be able to do this, right? Anyways, we'll do it when we're closer. I think that's it right there. That's where we're shooting for. That's our parking spot. We're in the... Remember where we parked, kids? We're in the itchy lot. Do we just bend it like Beckham? Just like out of nowhere? I saw like a little bit of like weird difference in the ISS and then when I look this way we're clearly going towards it and we weren't a second ago all right fast forward is fucky we're gonna go back a bit we're gonna go that way a bit we're maybe gonna go more backwards a bit no we're gonna go this way um go down I'm watching that yellow marker on the nav ball that's our prograde marker I want it to be level that means we're going sideways Quidditch. <laughs> okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's sideways. Beautiful. Okay, so that should be dead sideways. No forward, no backwards. Lateral. This is so painful. I have to fast forward. It's just so fucking slow. Even three times is just redonkulous. Okay, can I do this yet? Alrighty, we have a target. waiting for this pink dot to be like in line with our 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 whatever that mark is called and then we'll know that we're in line so to speak this way a 
Looks like we're drifting backwards a little bit, I think. Which means the bend at like Beckham went the other way? I don't know. I'm weirded out by this game. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna go up. Up and up them. Okay, we have to take away. This is gonna suck. Okay, we're gonna have to take away this one, lest we knock its ass right off there. Come on. I'm fighting these four frames. I'm so sorry, guys. This is just brutal. Just brutal. That's why I don't like coming up here. I'm okay with leaving from here. Because, you know, it's easy. You just deal with the four frames for a bit. Burn. Get out of the 2.2 kilometers. Done. Wash your hands. But coming here is such a bitch. Because you have to do these things so slow. And then the frame rate just sacks you. It makes all this stuff take for fucking ever. trajectory is putting us pretty much right at it. Alright, time to get our game face on. Moment of truth. Down below 50 meters. Alright, eyes wide shut, Noel. Okay, we are going basically right at the port. Okay, we're going to go generally in the direction of the port. That point fucking two meters a second. Come on, game. <laughs> Even in fast forward, it's still only like a meter a fucking second. This is basically... This is what it should look like without the lag. <laughs> we're basically just like fast forwarding the video. To make the slow motion look like reality. Did a quick save there, just in case. Um, hmm. It seems as though we are out of mono propellant. Oh, it's because I'm in fast forward. Jesus Christ. We are like desperately low. Okay, now is not the time game. Now is not the time. Don't you dare use that RCS. Don't you dare. We have one point of our 330 units that we had. We have 1.2 left. <laughs> Fam. Fam, this almost went really bad. <laughs> this almost went really poorly. I was for a split second. I was like, okay, do I have enough time to spin this thing around, stop it, and then I'll fucking dock the ISS onto the Soyuz? Because the, the ISS has a ton of RCS. So it could do it. But just the logistics really quick was like, all right, four frames a second. This thing weighs like a bajillion tons. It only has 30 ports on it. Equals forever. 42 years. That's what the answer to that equation is. That's how long that shit would take. And ain't nobody got time for that shit. I know I don't. My time may be free on YouTube. But it's valuable here at home. And ain't nobody got time for that sh yet. All right, this is clean. Put that away just at the last second. 
Probably should have put that away a little early, but then we would have, you know, run out of electrical charge, and that would have been a whole fucking ordeal. All right, I can feel the magnetics accelerating it. And a perfect kiss. Whew. Okay, that craft is right here. Oh, I don't even have to do that. I just have to find Commander Kelly. And eva -er. eva -er. Where, where, where are we? Where, oh, I, <laughs> I see you hiding up there. All right. Oh, all that fast forwarding probably sent this thing. Yeah, oh geez. 20 kilometers. We got this. We got this. It's moving away from us at 50. So basically we just got to catch up, so to speak. Let's do a little movie magic, and we're just going to star wipe and catch up when we catch up. And you'll be able to tell in the top left corner how long that took, because new craft, i.e. Commander Kelly, uh, new time up in the top left. So let's see how long this takes. <laughs> All right, BRB, star wipe. God damn, that was close. Shit, fuck. I was in like four time, and I think I popped the wrong fast forward, and this thing went like right by us, like, oof, like eight meters away. <laughs> And then I popped record. Like, I'm, I'm like, fresh out of almost killing myself. That wasn't, like, a few minutes ago. That was, like, ten seconds ago. My heart is fucking pounding. All right, we gotta get this line up here. We gotta get this stuff around here. I'm sorry about the dark. It's not my fault. I don't make the weather. Are we moving away from it? Oh, Jesus, I thought we were going towards it at 20 meters a second. Like I said, that shit just happened. <laughs> it's still fresh in my memory. I'm gonna have PTSD from that. I'm going to have flashbacks from that, um, that space station I had that got hit by the asteroid. <laughs> Fucking live on recording. That was the only other time I've been that terrified. Fucking dark. I'm so sorry. We're just going to quickly get in this. It's going to take no time. front door open. God damn it, Noel. What the fuck? I think electricity's free. Are we heating the neighborhood, Noel? God. God. We used half our EVA propellant to get here. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Come in for a nice clean landing. Alrighty. Let's do this. Make ourselves a little more aerodynamic. Should we land like this? I think we should land. Probably closed. <laughs> it's probably a good idea. We could take some of this, I think. Oh no. Liquid yeah, I don't need more liquid fuel. Nope. Nope. Let's do this. Focus. Now I want to target. I'm gonna target. Okay, let's do this. Set target, and then we're just gonna unset it. I do that because I don't know which one of these is. I don't want to figure it out. So I just find a random one and I just do that. Turn it on, turn it off. It's like restarting a computer. Have you tried turning it on and turning it back off again? Turning it off and then and then turning it off a third time? Have you tried turning it off and then turning it off again? Excuse me? I said, have you tried turning it off and then turning it off again? I don't I don't follow you. You want me to turn my computer off and and then turn it off again? How do you how do you propose I turn it off again? I don't know, I'm just reading from the script, sir. We're just waiting for that to come around to about here somewhere. You know what I should do? I should just do this. We're going to do this. We're going to do some other things. All right, so where where is Cape Curb? Over there. So we're going to bring it around because we can go way faster in this mood. So there's Cape Curb Navarro. We're gonna bring it around to about, yeah, let's do one more, here we come. Okay, I'm gonna start way back here. So that if we have to sort of reload per se, or if the game crashes or whatever, it'll be way up there instead of too close, potentially. 
like a measure twice, cut once kind of situation I'm going for here. Okay, so we are in the dark. Fudge. Okay, we're going to go around a bit. All right, Cape K, we're at 1, 104. Perfect. I know this. So right around here somewhere. Good enough. Okay, let's do a quick save because we did one earlier and things have gone swimmingly. All right, we need to break. And that's good that we're breaking with this giant tank because it'll re-enter and explode and I won't have to remove the debris later. Okay, we are probably at retro. We're going to start a burn. Starting a burn. How about with a yo mama joke? Alright, I want to come up probably a little long. I say that all the time because I can shed a little more speed if possible and just fly around rather than go over mountains. I hate going over mountains. Let's do that. And we're going to save. Nice trajectory coming in over Hawaii. Okay, we're going to save. So if we have to load and change our orbit just a hair, it'll be easier than having to redo that whole sequence of events again. So we're going to do this. See a nerd? Perfect. We're going to bring her about, Captain. Everybody's looking happy. Lots of smiles. Good to see. They're just excited to get home to their little Kerbal kids. Their little virtual families. What is that out there? That's adorable. Whatever it is, it's close. That must be the International Space Station. Nope, it's uh, Commander Kelly's Soyuz capsule. The Soyuz capsule that we replaced in this mission. That is it, as sort of a floating museum to the bravery, <laughs> the bravery of the pilot in question. So we have a bunch of extra weight back here. I'm not, <laughs> this is going to be fun, I'm not used to actually flying this thing. Yeah, I'm not used to flying this thing with this much weight in the back. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so we're going to gimbal and shut down, gimbal and shut down, gimbal and shut down. Get those on preemptively, air breathing, air breathing. Good, good. Check, check. Our pre-flight check is commenced. Please buckle your seatbelts for re-entry. In the case of a giant fuel tank hitting the craft, we're doomed. I suggest you write in one last email to your loved ones. It'll be transmitted just before impact. Oh, we're up really high. I thought we were closer to 70. I was just going to wait it out. My bad. We're going to keep the nose up. So as we kind of surf in, we're going to just... We're just going to surf in. It's going to be It's going to be clean. Just believe in me. I swear to God, I've done this before. We're going to bring out air brakes early just to get us through the kind of more treacherous part. If we have to put them away because we're doing good at decelerating, perfect. But I want them out early just in case. All right, we're starting to hit Atmo. We're starting to have little particles dance off the bottom of the craft. This is anticlimactic. I, I don't know why I'm assuming that we should be seeing like awesome re-entry effects yet. I do have them disabled, but at least it'll get red. I mean, I don't have the big trailing out red effects from behind because they just lag too much. But I'm expecting to see red already. We're at 50,000 50, meters. There we go. There's some. That thing's a goner. It's going to explode any second. 
it's coming in way too steep and it's doing like 4,000 miles an hour. So when it starts to hit lower Atmo, she's gone. It's just going to pop like a zit. I like one of those weird cyst videos that are all over YouTube. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. I wish people would stop watching those so they'd stop appearing in the like recently uploaded. I don't watch them. They're always fucking there. Just like those gang fight videos. I never watch those. They're always fucking there. World star. Like, fuck off. I don't want to watch you. I'm keeping an eye on that thing, so I want to see it pop. <laughs> but it's stubborn as hell. Look at it go. It's got to be down around like 20,000 meters. And it's hauling ass. There it goes. Bye. Bye. Okay, we are getting really hot. But the speed's actually coming off really fast now. As we're starting to almost level out. So again, nose up creates a lot more drag and stuff. It also levels out the craft, which means as long as you're level, of course this thing is decelerating. So as long as you're level, you're not going to heat up more. Why is it dancing around? What's going on? Okay, we're not out of power. That was so weird. We like, we hit turbulence going <laughs> over those mountains. We're not even over those mountains yet. That was weird. We hit turbulence. It sort of started buffeting a little bit. That was cool. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, once you're once you're in level flight like we are right now, you're Gucci. Your, your craft is not going to get hotter because it's decelerating. The only time you have a problem is if your your speed is high and there's a lot of atmo around you. Okay, let's see if we can. So we're going pretty darn slow. We're just going to try and really descend really quick and see if we can actually come in for a landing there. This is going to be like some too fast, too furious shit. Oh, we fucked it. We'll be fine once we hit three or four hundred meters a second. Actually, this is good. This is air braking us so well. <laughs> that we have, we'll have no problem coming in for that. Um, but of course you would not want to do this <laughs> with, say, the Endeavor. Oh god. Okay, let's put this away. We're at a slow speed. Brakes away. Was that brake giving me like a ton of... I think that brake might have been contributing to a lot of our control. So I'm gonna put it back on. Just just go straight down, you dick. Okay, whatever. Do a, do a, do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a flip. Okay, don't do a flip. Do something. Hmm. Let's do... Oh, let's do this. Oh, do we need more? No, we have oxidizer. We have liquid. Shut down engine. You're not on. Alright, so it thinks it has fuel it doesn't actually have. Because these aren't on yet. But I'm seeing... There we go. Okay, good enough. Perfect. Are we good? Are we good? Oh, Jesus, thank God. That was weird. It The, the game almost refused to relinquish control of the craft until I gave a little thrust. It was just like, no, no, you can't have this. You can't have this. This is mine. This is mine. Get away. I'm not done with it yet. Okay, we're just going to turn that off. We're going to turn that off. Put some throttle back on. Good. Okay, here we go. Jeez. Sorry about that, guys. I like to do this really clean and make it all look professional. That would have been catastrophic. That would have been, like, worst case scenario for a NASA landing. For the shuttle just to go all borky. But whoever's flying this, is it my Deloney? Is it my, 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 my baloney? I think it is. Yep. He seems to be in the commander seat. I can't see my flight jacket, but it probably says my baloney on it. I think this is... I, I can't look down. God damn it, game. No, I can't look down at my flight suit. He would be praised with medals and, like, endorsement deals for cereals and stuff. He'd be like a national hero.
It would be amazing. Minstrels would write songs about him in the future. There once was a man named Odoni. He saved a bunch of people with baloney. Can we fast forward with this? Nope, nope, nope. I did one speed and it started wobbling around. We're just gonna fly in. We can, if anything, just punch it. <laughs> this thing loves to decelerate, so let's just hammer it. We're gonna buzz the tower, Maverick. Permission to buzz the tower? Permission to not. We're gonna buzz the tower anyways. Doing about 340 miles an hour or so. We're kind of hauling ass. Kind of hauling ass. Descending like crazy. Atmo is starting to get thicker. Our, our acceleration is actually decelerating. It's slowing down a bit. The pace with which it's gathering speed is slowing down, I should say. This is such a nice craft. This is just such a nice craft. I'm very happy with this. If sometimes you just hit on something that's just right, this is one of those crafts. It's right in that Goldilocks zone of, it's kind of, you're, you're on the precipice. It, it is like you're balancing on the head of a needle, but it still feels like you're top gunning it. You know, I still feel like I have a lot of control, even though I kind of really don't, like we saw up there. I've done this a million times. I've I've got this. Well, not a million times. I've done this like twenty times. But I've I've I really I like to think I know what I'm doing. And it's painfully obvious that even if you do, there's that. You know, chaos reigns. Chaos reigns. Coming back around, we kind of got a little lost there. Cut throttle off completely, doing like 250 miles an hour. We're probably Gucci. Gonna slam. We slammed. Oh, parachute. But we made it. Okay, that was that was a rough landing, but that's why we have the big large landing gear all the way around. Medium on the front, but yeah, the big ass landing gear can take a a jam lot. <laughs> a huge metric shit ton of stress. So, I love this craft. I was literally just saying I love this craft so fucking much, and that proves it. How hard did we hit the ground? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the sort of the speed and the rate of descent, but I mean, we fucking slammed, and we're fine. Everybody's fine. <laughs> in old version, we would have lost the wheels. We would have been in a belly slide, probably. I bet you everything would have exploded, and it would have been this, the crew pod and like probably a bunch of the struts just sort of lining up behind i have a feeling that's all that would be left but this thing is awesome uh download link is always in the previous videos i don't want to just keep uploading the same file link over and over and over again because i'm kind of it's not that i'm expecting you to watch them but i'm expecting you to at least do a little homework you know i've put them in previous videos i say that all the time but i still get comments all the time with like Oh, you should put the craft file and download thing and it's like it is it's just like four episodes back <laughs> so guys i hope you like the video hope you comment hope you share hope you download this thing and fly the shit out of it because it's awesome guys until next time oh who do we got here we're gonna give my deloney a prez kelly and bend over a little shout out because they did great today speaking of commander kelly today i think is the anniversary of the endeavor uh if memory serves me correctly it's sts 134 and the commander of that simple ISS rendezvous, and I think it was a restocking mission or something, uh, was Commander Kelly. So I put her in this thing because it's, it's, it sort of came full circle today. So guys, until next time, peace, love, happy flying.